Hello folks, Bob here. Welcome back. I'm going to do a little maintenance on my car today. I already topped off the windshield washer. And the next thing I'm going to do is an oil change. This is the first oil change that I've done on this car myself. Now I've changed the oil every 5,000 miles. And uh, been uh, pretty religious about that. But I had some issues. I have some issues with the uh, service that I got at the service department. And uh, I think I'm just going to change the oil myself. The car is at 135,000 miles. And uh, it's past this warranty. And I'm just going to change my own oil. Uh, it's easy to do, I think. Uh, has been on my cars in the past. Um, so I'm going to give this one a shot and I'm going to try to do all the other preventive maintenance that this car calls for in the future and we'll just see how that goes. I uh, tried to jack this car up a little bit earlier off camera and it didn't work. The, I have a floor jack and I tried to slide it under. I could slide it under just barely but then I couldn't operate the pump to lift the car. So, I put my jack away, put my stuff away, and then I got to thinking, you know, if I could lift that car up a few more inches. So I came up with an idea. Don't know if you can see this or not. But what I did is I cut a piece of two by material, two by eights, and uh, screwed them together. And so I have a three inch spacer here that I'm gonna place underneath the front tires. I got one for each side. So let me move the I camera. Took my floor here. jack moved it here to the pinch weld. And uh, this is where the uh, lifting's pot where you would change the tire if you were on the side of the road using the uh, the uh, tire jack. And so I, I lifted the car. I want to slide this under center of the tire, lower it down, and hopefully. I will have enough space to put the floor jack under the car. This is the oil pan. This is the drain plug. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to drain the oil first. So the oil filter is right in front of it, right up in there. I went ahead and pre-filled the oil filter was probably about six ounces of oil. What I want to do is I want to spin this oil filter on by hand until it's snug. Once it's snug, you want to grab a hold of it and turn it a quarter of a turn. Let me uh, double check. Make sure my drain plug is tight. And it is. And triple check my filter. And that's it. We got the car back on the ground. Here's the engine cover. I call it the shield.
Okay. There is less than a half quart left. Not by much. Now what's amazing about an oil change is the car will always run better after you do one. So every two and a half months I change my oil. So there you go. So what I like to do, put this back on, tilt it up, find those posts. And that's it. Grab this, wipe this down. That's it. We're going to call this a wrap. Thank you for uh, stopping by and helping me change the oil in my uh, daily driver. Take this off. This is just one way you can stretch your dollar a little bit. Taking uh, an hour of your time, jacking your car up, draining your oil, removing your filter, put a new filter on, fill the crankcase full of oil, and uh, show your kids how it's done. So uh, once again, have a good day and uh, see you next time. Hit the like button on your way out. Share this.